Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down a huge weather pattern change that'll be impacting the United States next week. This will bring a big increase of temperatures to a large chunk of the country. Meanwhile, other areas will see a substantial cool down. There will also be a chance for maybe some severe weather as we go into next week, and as well as heavy snow as we go later here into the month of September. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the united states today and we'll first begin with the northern plains and we actually have some showers and even some storms that have been firing up this afternoon and evening across areas like south dakota and minnesota this is all due to a low pressure system that is currently spinning back up in canada this has been moving slowly down to the southeast and this is going to allow here for some showers and storms we're not looking though at any crazy severe weather out of this and during september september is not really a huge active month when it comes to severe weather and the reason why is because we have a lot of troughs that come out of Canada instead of the Rocky Mountains and usually when troughs go over the Rocky Mountains they have more shear available because they have those mountains to interact with so it creates more of that severe weather threat and we're not really seeing that right now but that usually ramps up more during the springtime and as well as even during the fall we have our second severe weather season that'll start in October goes through November for those in the central and southern plains so we'll be watching that very closely but overall this low pressure system again showers storms Nothing too crazy, though, in terms of severe weather. Down in the southern plains, we still have a lot of moisture down here, so there are some showers and storms ongoing. We even had a flash flood warning today in down parts of southeast Texas near Beaumont, and that's because we've been seeing some heavy rainfall down that direction. But overall, showers and storms continuing there, keeping those areas cool here for the next couple days before it starts to warm up by the weekend. Back over in the Midwest and the Northeast, it is dry right now, but if you're in the Northeast, it will not stay that way for much longer. By tomorrow night, we're going to start to see some showers and storms ramp up from Hurricane Lee out in the Atlantic Ocean. This will be a Category 1 hurricane as it approaches New England, and it will still produce the threat for storm surge, high waves, and as well as heavy rainfall, maybe some flash flooding. Hurricane force winds will be possible right on the immediate coastline of parts of Maine and even Cape Cod as well. We'll talk about more details on Hurricane Lee later in this forecast. Now let's talk more about the weather pattern that's happening here across the United States and what is to come, because we're going to have a big pattern change. Once again, we've had a lot of pattern changes recently, but as of right now, as I mentioned previously, there is currently that low pressure system back up in Canada. Your jet stream's located right in here, so it's kind of wavy. Again, meridional jet stream when we have those winds going vertical and horizontal. But as we go into the weekend, things do become a little bit different here. So we'll go into Saturday, having that trough going over in parts of the Midwest. That could actually kick up some shower, maybe in a couple storm activity back over in parts of the Midwest. Here's Lee by Saturday. They'll be moving into areas near New England, but the landfall will not be in New England. It'll actually be in Nova Scotia. Now, as we go into the late weekend and into next week, that low pressure system will move through parts of the eastern tier of the United States. So some showers and storms will be possible across areas like the mid-Atlantic region and the northeast. Notice these stronger upper level winds, that southwesterly flow. That could actually promote maybe a low end threat for severe weather as we go into Sunday and into Monday. But overall, again, this trough is coming from Canada. I don't anticipate really any crazy severe weather outbreaks out of that. By Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, things become very calm, and this will promote more of an increased risk of higher temperatures more than anything so we're not really going to see severe weather out of this but the temperatures will be back on the uptick across a large chunk of the united states by next thursday and a friday this is a really long-term look and things are obviously going to change but there will be a chance for some deepening troughs to start to kick up over the rocky mountains as we go later in this month and once that happens that'll start to increase the risk for severe weather and as well as even some really heavy rainfall and strong cold fronts which is very typical for the fall by the way so this will be something to watch for as we go into the later half of this month this is the 23rd for example so this is definitely in play but again there's multiple days out things are definitely going to change between now and then but that'll definitely be something to watch out for as we get closer to the end of this month now for the next several days this is what the future radar looks like across the country notice there'll be showers and storms across parts of the central plains back through the midwest for friday morning into the afternoon and evening hours there'll be a couple of passing showers but overall not a whole lot of moisture up in parts of the midwest that's going to limit at the overall storm activity but once we go to saturday there'll be a little bit better of a chance for maybe a round of storms to produce some gusty winds maybe some small hail rain clears out of the southern plains going into sunday by monday into tuesday showers and storms up and down the coast of the northeast this is not from hurricane lee this is going to be from that trough that's going through canada right now and it'll drive into the northeast as we go into next week eventually by tuesday into wednesday things are pretty dry for most of the country and then eventually again by next week by the very end of next week into the weekend that is when we could start to see some deep 
deepening troughs. This would increase the risk for severe weather, but again, way too far out to predict that, but it is definitely going to be something to watch out for over the long term since we are now getting closer to the second severe weather season for parts of the Great Plains. In terms of the rainfall totals over the next seven days, the highest rainfall will primarily be back up in Maine. That's where Hurricane Lee is going, and then back in parts of the Central and Southern Plains, still an inch or two to rain to come in the green shaded areas. That's between about a half an inch to an inch, so a lot of those areas will still see some rainfall, but again, it's not going to be anything too substantial. At least flash flooding is pretty unlikely at this time, unless you're in parts of Oklahoma or Texas. Those are the two main areas that have some rain still to come. Before we go too much further into this weather forecast, I do want to remind you to hit the subscribe button down below. We do daily weather forecasts here on the Max Velocity channel, so make sure you subscribe so you're staying up to date with the latest on all the weather that's happening here across the United States. All right, let's talk more about the temperatures here across the United States for the next several days. One of the big things right now that's happening is that we have below average temperatures for a large chunk of the country. Any of these blue areas that you see, that is all representing below average temperature anomalies, which is essentially just meaning below average temperatures in that particular location. But as we go into the late weekend and by next week, unfortunately, this cold air will start to move off to the east. So that's going to be with this cold front that'll be back through New England. And then we're going to see a big patch of warmer air start to usher into parts of the Midwest and as well as the southern and central plains. And that'll start to warm things back up by next week. And so by the 23rd, again, things become very uncertain by this point. But it does seem as if we'll start to go more into a warming trend. And it's likely that we'll see above average temperatures for a large chunk of the country by the time we get into Saturday. Saturday and Sunday around the 23rd and 24th of this month. Here is the Climate Prediction Center's forecast. They're pretty much on board with this right now. From Wednesday until Sunday, this is the 20th to the 24th. It is likely we'll see above average temperatures for a large chunk of the country. Literally anywhere in the orange or red or pink is representing above average temperatures. A little bit of a change if you're back over in the western tier of the United States. Below average temperatures and perhaps some extra precipitation as well. And also the 6 to 10 day outlook for precipitation still indicates above average precipitation for a large chunk of the country goes from South Texas all the way back through the Great Plains and as well as into areas like the Midwest and even into the Pacific Northwest in the Northeast United States below average precipitation is expected during that period which is again from the 20th until the 24th of this month overall severe weather for the next several days it's pretty much on the low end of things for flying fences Friday that's our only concern right now we do have a marginal threat of severe weather for parts of Texas and as well as New Mexico and the Oklahoma Panhandle the main concern right now is damaging winds and and hail. Here's a quick update on Hurricane Lee. As of right now, it is pretty much parallel to South Carolina. It is moving to the north. This will not make landfall anywhere near the Carolinas. It's going to continue to move to the north over the next several hours. By Saturday morning, impacts will start to be felt across parts of New England. Heavy rainfall, high waves, storm surge are the main concerns right now. Going into Saturday afternoon, this is expected to start to turn toward Nova Scotia. Landfall is expected in Nova Scotia. There is still a low chance it makes landfall near Maine, so I'll have to watch that closely. Maybe it does make a landfall in the United States, but more than likely, this is going to make landfall in parts of Nova Scotia, so again, in Canada. Currently, the highest wind gusts are expected to be along the coastline. Cape Cod could get upwards of 80 mile per hour winds. Same thing with Nantucket, and then back through parts of the coast of Maine, we also could see some high winds. That could also be the potential for some hurricane force winds in those areas as we go later into Saturday. So again, kind of in the morning and afternoon for Saturday, that's when the highest winds will happen. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're not already.